Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Draco Evolve. This is my Manchester United 18 to 19 season vlog playlist and it is my match preview of the big one Manchester United versus Paris Saint Germain Germain or PSG at Old Trafford tomorrow. What's the date tomorrow? 12th of February 2019. So let's get let's let's let's, let's just dive straight in. What I'll be talking about is uh, some of the press react, uh, press conferences that's been happening. Uh, my predicted uh, scoreline, but before that would be my predicted lineup, and uh, we'll take it from there really. So I watched the press conference, and one thing I noticed is um, we looked more comfortable, even the aura around how Oli and even Antonio Martial was answering the questions. I think a few weeks ago. Um, when the draw came out, we had PSG. We had no chance, zero chance at you know zero chance. But right now, it's 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 totally changed. We're a team on on the up. Where we were, we are flying. We're absolutely flying. I think we're the most informed team in our league, uh, the Premiership, and um, it's it's a testament to come to finally come to one of the big games of the season, a defining game in the Champions League knockout stage. And being a real shot to <laughs> cause an upset, if you want to say. Um, so, Oli was asked one of the questions Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was asked in the press conference is, um, does does winning uh, the uh, the matches against PSG uh, is is will make the the um, what do you call it? Make it simple for the upper management to uh, <laughs> um, give him the job. He just simply answered, yeah, it will make it simple. And just left as that because you know every week every week uh, when there's a press conference he's asked the same question what more can he say obviously he will love the job but i think the way that he's tackled the media the way that he's focused around it the smiles around it is is fantastic to see it's the positivity that's growing and it's also showing uh, in our performance in, in our recent performances and he did mention the fact that the Burnley game where we drew 2-2, two -two, he, he, we could have won. It wasn't the best of results and he appreciates that. And I had a bit of a rant in my reviews of the game that day. If you want to check it out, go ahead. Um, if you notice on the on, on the on on my right side of, of my shoulder is, is the lineup that my predicted lineup uh, of the uh, match between uh, Manchester United versus uh, Paris Saint-Germain. PSG, I'm just going to call it PSG from now on. And um, obviously my mug, my United mug, which has been gifted to me. And since he has been gifted, I've actually never used any other mug. I, I don't think, I think nine's out, nine times out of ten, I'd barely touch any other mug. So I love this mug to bits and it's, it's going to long make continue. Hopefully I don't break it or something. But anyway, let's, let's get straight down to PSG. So I watched uh, about 10 minutes of the game um, over the weekend. Just to see, you know, how it is, how they're doing, and you know what to expect from them. To be honest with you, the French league is tied up. You know they're gonna win the league. It's 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 easy for them, you know. And I think that's Champions League is the target. Now they're without Neymar, which which is fantastic news for us, and it gives us a real real chance because Neymar, no matter what people say about him, he can he can change games. You know, he's in my opinion one of the best players in the world, the top five at least. It's a shame that he left uh, Barca for PSG. I think he, at Barca he would have done even more. But, uh, you know, it happens. But then I went, when I logged in, I saw Cavani going off injured. And the next day I read up on it that Cavani can, will most likely miss uh, the, uh, the, um, the, the tie, the first leg at least. And that brought a big smile on my face because the front three of Cavani, Neymar and Mbappe is, is devastating. You know, any team in the world would struggle against those three. To lose two of the three is is really good, and uh, Mbappe uh, alone can change. Of course, he can he can change the game on his head alone. But you know, I'll take that. I'll I'll rather have you know our defense dealing with just Mbappe than having to deal with Cavani, Neymar, and 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 Mbappe. So that's good. Especially our defense is is not the strongest. You know, it's not the strongest in the Europe. It's not the best in the Europe. But we're we're getting there. Is something is forming. So here's my lineup that I'm gonna to talk to you about it. Goalkeeper, like I say every week, you know, standard David De Gea, leave it as is. He's he's gonna have a big game. I hope he has a big game. You know, he normally does have a big game, you know. he will be the key, I think, in, in terms of keeping Mbappe out. I don't trust our defence. It's gonna be David De Gea. 
On the right back, unfortunately, it's going to be Ashley Young. He has signed a, a contract extension for another season. So he's here with us till 2020, which I don't agree with at all, unless he's agreed some sort of terms that from next season, he is a backup right back because I would have preferred Dalot being on the right back um, area permanently as a first teamer. But Dalot playing over the weekend, I think we will need the experience of Ashley Young, unfortunately. He's not the best of defenders, and I just I just hope that he doesn't uh, Mbappe doesn't kind of mark him instead of the other way around. Because imagine Mbappe against Ashley Young, uh, that 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 would be not, that would not be a nice thing to see. Uh, two central central back uh, CB centre backs is is Lindelof is pretty much given, but I think um, I genuinely think Smalling will play instead of Bayi. I, I do understand Bayi is fantastic he, on his days, he's brilliant. But for me, Bai has a rash in him. He can get sent off. There is a chance he might get sent off. And with Mbappe potentially running at him, him just lunging in, he can get sent off. Smalling is probably going to be a bit more experienced uh, in the air. When it comes to, say, corners, you know, Thiago Silva, things like players like that running up against uh, our defence, I think the extra height will help. Left back will be Luke Shaw. He's had a fantastic game. He's growing into the role, I think. Uh, he just needs to probably be more consistent in terms of how he attacks, how he goes down the left flank. And his crossing has to be much, much better because, to be honest with you, I, I spoke about my last game that the crossing side of it is, is not good enough for us, from us. That will be probably one of the biggest improvements that I'll make. Central midfielders, let's leave it as that. I think we now know who's Oli's favourite three are. It is going to be Matic, Pogba and Herrera. Herrera gave one of the most complete box-to-box -box midfield performance over the weekend. And even if he does 90% of that, we will be in a big shot. Because if we can control that midfield and cut off the supply line to Mbappe, we will have a big chance. I mean, Pogba will be critical to us in terms of creativity, how he drags his players across. I think if we can get under the skin, under the skin, if Herrera, uh, who's, who's good for that, by the way, can get under the skin of Verratti, it'll be good because Verratti, although he's a, such a good player, he's exact. He's our, um, but he's, he's the Eric Bailly because he can make that mistake. He can be rash. He can tackle. He can get a sending off. If he gets a nice yellow card early on, you know that they're probably going to go down to 10 men if we harass Verratti enough. But on his day, if we don't look after Verratti, he can cause us problems. Up front, I genuinely believe it's, it's going to be Marcus Rashford, I believe, on the right side. And up through the middle, it's going to be Jesse Lingard. And on the left side, I, I reckon it's, he's going to give a chance to uh, Martial. Although, as much as I would like to say Alexis Sanchez, I think in this sort of type of games, you need your top three forwards or any sort of top 11, no chance is taken. Alexis Sanchez, he has the ability, but he hasn't been performing. And with Martial being on the form that he, he is right now, not the best of forms, but see the goal he scored over the weekend. Anything like that, dragging the defence away, left, right, centre, you know, with strength, composure, and then just tapping it in. Brilliant, you know, we don't see enough of that from Sanchez, I believe. We will have a full energy on uh, Jesse Lingard and Marcus Rashford because they were rested over the weekend, which is fantastic. We will need them. The reason why I say um, Rashford is going to be on the right wing, we're going to, I think, play that formation on and that uh, tactic where we played against Arsenal and Tottenham away where um, we just literally sat in between the wing-backs and the wingers and gave gave the opposition a dilemma whether they should track them back or not. And uh, Jesse Lingard just sitting in the middle, marking the defensive midfielder. So that's my lineup. Hope you guys agree with it. If you don't agree with it, if you feel that somebody else should be given a chance, leave it down in the comments below. And you guys know that I'll always uh, re respond back to the comments. Let's have a bit of a interaction and convo going. My predicted scoreline, generally, I don't think it's going to be a closed-off match. It's going to be an open match. We will, with that defence and Mbappe playing, I think we will still lose a goal. But I'm going to go bold here because we're at home. The momentum is with us. We're playing competitively every week compared to what PSG are playing in terms of the French League. They've already got it wrapped up, so you know they, they can rest a bit every weekend, You know, just get a couple of goals, and that's it. It's done. You know, there's nothing else happening. So, you know, these sort of games will kind of be a shock and awe to them. 
So because we've got the sharpness, I believe, and the momentum and, and the morale behind us, I, I think it's going to be 3-1 to United. Gut says it's going to be probably 2-1 to us. We will win, I think, but the second leg will be important. We'll, we'll discuss that later on. But 3-1, getting a 3-1 scoreline and going back to their stadium in Paris is, is going to be magnificent. And if you ask me to review this, well, preview this game a few weeks ago, about, what, eight, nine weeks ago, I would have said, you know, with or with them, and it, they have Cavani or, or Neymar, we will, it's, it's gone. We will be defensive. We will probably lose by two, three goals. But if we attack them, if we push them enough, I think we'll have them. Their, goal, their defense is not that great. And the way Rashford is on on his day at the moment, if he harasses those defenders, it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant to see. It's going to, I hope the fans and the stadium is rocking on them to make so much noise. I know I will be, that's for sure. Um, but 3-1 for me. This is my lineup. Let me know your, your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back tomorrow after the match for the match review. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.